So here's the uh, main plan for the five cylinder Briggs uh, radial type engine I'm working on here. Uh, the date on this was uh, February 2014. Uh, I actually uh, first designed one of these back in about 2000. Basically the same engine but uh, I always had questions about the intake manifold and uh, different things. Even this isn't what I'm actually going to do. This is showing uh, two carburetors here. Had a bunch of different uh, configurations there. Uh, but uh, just trying to figure out what the best way to do it was. Simplest. You see another sketch there of a carburetor set up. But uh, in the end there, I, uh, I made this uh, cardboard template here. Got uh, two crankcase covers on it. And you see on a, on a five cylinder, the center of the in between any two crankshafts is uh, 360 degree circle divided by 5 is 72 degrees so uh, I got each one there 72 degrees apart and uh, if I pulled the oil plugs out they would sit flat but I got them got them about as close as I can get them together there so uh, I can't guarantee this is actually where they'll sit because the uh, chain you have to have to move them out so that uh, the chain is tight between uh, each engine so uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a fairly big uh, uh, plywood base when it's done. I'm going plywood on this one, but uh, I figure 30 inches on each side or something uh, might suffice. But anyway, uh, just to introduce you to it there, and I'll uh, make uh, add more to the video as I'm uh, making various parts for it. Just working on the intake manifold for the five-cylinder Briggs radial there. Uh, Franken Briggs radial. It's not a true radial. Anyway, uh, I got three pipes coming out of the front there. Carburetor feeds in the back. This uh, pipe coat fit in there, so I'll get that all welded up. Still have to make the uh, flange for the carburetor. Um, end caps. Got to grind them down to size. The pipe comes out each end. Beat the cylinder. So uh, anyway, just uh, showing you some of the progress there. I'll uh, continue on and piece this together with other videos. So just uh, doing a little layout here with uh, five crankcases. Uh, obviously this one over here has uh, been broken out so I won't actually be using it but uh, just uh, get the intake manifold in the center here. This is for the Franken Briggs 5 and uh, I'm just uh, laying it out there seeing where I need to place the intake manifold and it turns out it's going to have to be above the engines uh, there just isn't room to run the runners between them as you can see I got, got pretty tight clearances there between them but uh, I want to keep the engines as close together as I can just to minimize the size of the base and the length of the chain connecting them etc so Here's the intake manifold for the uh, five-cylinder Franken Briggs uh, radial type engine. There, you see the carburetor flange here. I'll spin it around so it basically sits that way, uh, facing say uh, number one cylinder up here. And uh, the way it works, this guy goes out to number one, and then this guy feeds two and then this guy comes back underneath it to feed three and then this guy goes over to five and this guy to four so uh, they won't be uh, completely equal length runners or anything and they'll have uh, each will have uh, different types of bends and things but uh, anyway just wanted to make a quick video there show you the, the progression how I uh, made the intake manifold it's basically made from uh, pipe and uh, some steel plate so Copper pipe for the intake pipes. How's it going, Jasper? So, anyway, there we go.